Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about judo gi. Uh, what makes a good judo gi and it's really confusing. It, they all look the same, um, but I'm going to go over it step by step on what things to consider when you're looking at a judo gi and a quality judo gi. Um, Hatashita International has been making judo gis for over 70 years, so there's a lot of history behind this. Um, we, there's a lot of history and expertise behind it that goes into making a really good one. So although you can see, you know, everybody nowadays seems to be taking a logo and slapping it on a, on a, on a gi and thinking it's going to be a quality uniform, uh, it's just not true. Uh, what we've done over the years is refined it and refined it and refined it, and you're going to get, end up with a quality uniform um, that's really second to none. So we have two brands, and I'm going to go over both of them today with you, uh, the Fuji brand and the Mizuno brand. So first off, we'll start with the Fuji Gi. So the Fuji Gi, the history of the Fuji Gi is uh, my uncle Frank Atashta started importing them uh, after the war, uh, and they sent my my father was here in Canada, and they started sending my uncle in Japan started sending the Gi's back to Canada so people could train. So uh, in judo, so that was the start of it. Okay, so it goes back many years. The heritage of the Fuji Gi. In fact, if you if you're not wearing a Fuji Gi, chances are your sensei did and his sensei did. It's it goes back that far, and so there's many years of of heritage behind this, and many years of of refining it, refining the style, the cotton, uh, the models, the cut, and over the years, as everybody knows, uh, the International Judo Federation has changed the changed the regulations um, on judo uniforms. So uh, we've been very proactive in changing with those times, and with the change of the uniform, judo has changed as well. I remember when I was competing, guys, before there was any judo gi regulations, people would be wearing gis that came halfway down their arm here, and you couldn't grab them, all right? You might, they might appear to be here, you go like this, and it slides up your arm to about here. So they've eliminated that. They eliminated the judo gi as a factor to winning a competition or winning a fight. So by making, by standardizing it, okay? And the, the, the Fuji judo uniform, as well as the Mizuno judo uniform, has changed with the times, um, and I'll show you that. Okay, so the, the, the first one we want to start off with is the Fuji uh, single, which is known as the Fuji single weave. This is a starter uniform. So when you sign up the dojo, when you first day in, on, on the mats, you'll probably be wearing a Fuji Judo Gi, what we'd like you to be. Um, the reason why many of the clubs choose a Fuji Judo Gi is because they are pretty much indestructible. They will last you until you're a brown belt. They'll last you until you're a black belt. You could wear a Gi every practice for five years and it will last. So it has legendary quality, really, and, and it's, it's really well built. So that's one of the main things. And, it's, it's, and if, as a beginner, you, know, you don't want to invest a lot of money. This is the uniform to buy. It's going to last you forever. And it has, a, a, like I said, a heritage of being quality. So here, we'll get into it. So what makes this uniform great? A few things. The cut is excellent. So if you've ever... Uh, seen a guy with a big baggy uniform, a uh, big baggy, baggy judo gi, or the arms are too long, or the skirt is too long, um, it's be probably because they didn't refine the cut. Now, for us, it's a bit of a challenge to come up with this, this design because you could, everybody knows, you could be five foot six and be 200 pounds, or you could be five foot six and 112 pounds. And you need to come up with a gi or a design that's gonna fit the average person, and even um, you know the, the people that are on the on the far ends of the bell curve, we want them to fit our uniform in, into our uniform. So, the cut is really important. So it's a little bit leaner on the body, uh, and the length of the arms is correct for the average person. And what you'll find is that for most people that, that try on a Fuji uniform, it's going to fit well. I mean that's. And you, as a beginner, might not know what a good fit is, but your sensei will know, and he will identify that it's a good fit. And a good fit means it doesn't hang past your, your fingers, or it's not up here on your arms. Um, and also, so once you've got a decent fit right out of the bag, these do not shrink too much. 
Some uniforms will shrink five inches off the sleeves. These will not. Okay, so that's another important thing. They do shrink depending on how you wash it, whether you wash it hot or wash it cold, if you hang dry. We always recommend wash cold and hang dry. That's pretty much the rule with any judogi, really. Wash cold, hang dry. Now, everybody doesn't do that, um, but that's the recommended way to wash. And so when you, you find it shrinking up too much, you know, it's probably because you washed it hot and dried it in a hot dryer, you will get shrinkage. And that's actually a way to shrink off the size. If you find it just a bit too big, do that. Wash it hot, dry it, uh, dry it hot, and it, you will shrink off some, some size off the, off the uniform. So, the Fuji single weave uniform, uh, it's, it's, it's comfortable uh, because the cotton is very soft. Um, it's, it's cut well. And as you can see, the inside seams are all covered. So that adds to the comfort and to the strength of the uniform. So if you look at these seams, especially the ones that go around the collar, they're covered. So that's not going to cause you, uh, you know, gee, gee burn um, around your neck. Um, another thing people get caught up on is the number of stitches on the collar. Well, if you can see here, the stitches can vary a little bit uh, depending on the uniform. But what you want to look at is that the fact that it's pliable. Now, some people, some years ago, they started making a very heavy collar. It was very thick. And that, the reason of that for that was, well, now you can't grip me because the, coll the collar is so thick. Now you can't choke me because the collar is so thick. Um, judo, uh, International Judo Federation has changed that. There's regulations and standards. And the Fuji Judo uniform, although it's the beginner uniform, it falls into, into the... Um, the directive of International Judo Federation as far as design goes. So you don't have to worry about that. So nowadays, the collars are quite pliable and soft, and that's important because just for comfort. And, you know, you're not going to improve your judo if the other person can't grab you. That's just no way, that's, that's no, no strategy in getting better, okay? It's all about getting better, not about not getting thrown. It's about getting better. And just because somebody can't grab you, it shouldn't be a way to win a match, especially in the dojo, in the club, okay? Another thing that you will see here is that, is that uh, on the Fuji Gis and on the Mizuno Gis, part of the fit is that the bottom lapel will always cross over nicely and you'll end up with a straight line across the bottom, across your skirt. Uh, again, people, the, the brands that don't take a, pay attention to this, you'll have one side dipping down like this and the other one's riding up high, you know, it just doesn't look good. Um, there's not too much about the functionality, but they, if you have a gi like that, it's probably they, they didn't pay the attention in the design, okay? So on and uh, moving on to the pants. Um, the pants on a single weave will have a patch across the, a pot, across the knee here, all right? So on the patch, on a, on a more advanced gi, you'll see the patches going all the way down to the floor. But even with this inexpensive uniform, you still have reinforced gussets here. This is reinforced. Um, you've got double stitching across the, the cuffs. You've got a, a sturdy, as, as, as silly as it is, you've got a sturdy string here that, that's not going to break or fray. Um, and you've got some nice logoling as well. Now this comes with shoulder patches, the Fuji single weave, or without. Some you know, clubs like a little more bling on their gi, other ones want it as blank as possible. This comes in blue, white, and black, and pink. So, you know, whatever color you're into, that's what we got, whether it's for judo or aikido or, or, or jiu-jitsu. A lot of people, a lot of clubs will use this as a jiu-jitsu, a BJJ gi to start off with. Although Fuji has a, a, a uh, BJJ gi as well, this has become so ubiquitous in martial arts, in grappling, um, and trusted that people will use it for you know many different many different sports, and again it comes with a a uh, because it's a beater gi it comes with a belt to the size. So that's the Fuji single weave, uh, long lasting. It's 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 lighter, okay, um, but although it's lighter, it's a great for a summer gi, and you will wear this for years and years, bar none. Uh, in fact, we sell literally thousands and thousands of these a year, and we get zero back, absolutely zero. So um, it's an excellent gi to start off with. Now, as you 
progress along. Um, you want to you you you've you want to get a little bit better quality gi. You moved up to a double weave gi, and so the double weave gi we have the Setsu Fuji Setsu weave gi. It's a double weave gi, meaning it's a little bit heavier. The material itself is a little bit heavier, um, and this. Here, now, again, uh, Judo IJF has the regulations for the weight of the Judo Gi. This falls within the weight um, guidelines of IJF. So although it doesn't have a IJF certified patch on it, these Gi's, these do fall within the parameters of the IJF guidelines. So you can't wear this Gi to international uh, competition but you can wear it domestically to pretty much any, any tournament. They do, they're not asking for the IJF label on it. Um, and it does fall within the parameters of, of, of the regulations, so, which is great. So um, now one thing, you have to make sure it fit, fits properly. That's another story. If you, if you have a uniform it might, that, that, that you've sized up that it goes up to here, well, it's not going to pass the judges. But that's another story. You have to make sure you fit it well. So with the double weave, uh, gi, um, you're getting a heavy, heavier uniform, a little bit heavier collar here, so it will be uh, in, 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 in line with the heavier weight of the material. And if you look here, um, this, is an, this is an interesting thing, on a good uniform you have the skirt material and you have the, uh, the weave up, up top here. Now the weave up top, at the uh, is is more absorbent for sweat than the material down here, um, and it's also a tr more traditional look. If you look at uh, Professor Connell's gi, this is the style they will have, and we've maintained that. Other other brands they've deviated and maybe mixed it up, but on the Fuji uniforms, we've maintained that tradition of having having the two 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 uh, um, two weaves on the on the judo gi. And again, you open it up, and all the all the seams are covered for strength and for comfort. Um, you'll look, you'll see here the gussets all have reinforcements. So on the Fuji gi, which is lighter, you'll have small triangles on the gussets here. You see, you see the little triangle to prevent any ripping here. As you get to a higher quality uniform, they've got larger uh, reinforcements here that cover the entire area. So when grabbing this, this will never rip, ever. Um, and again, just in Fuji quality, in Fuji tradition, this will last you many, many years. I mean, this gi, the Setsu gi, uh, has been around a long time, and people will say, I've had people that have been doing judo for uh, 40 years, and they will come back to me and say, this is the gi that I grew up in. I mean, and they're still on the mats. So, and this comes in three different models, uh, basically the same gi, but you have different uh, embroidery. One with the Canada, custom embroidered here. One with judo embroidered, like this. And with the judo embroidered one, it also has on the pants the same logo like that. And you have the plain one with no embroidery. So this one without any embroidery, you can add your own club logo there or nothing. You know, it depends on, on what you like. These do not come with a belt. And most higher end geese don't come with a belt because presumably you're buying this as you progress through the belt. And, you know, we can't predict what belt you have. This has some embroidery on the arm as well, like that. And again, you're getting a little bit heavier weight uniform, um, minimal shrinkage on these, and a beautiful cut. This will fit most thin or muscular build uh, people. If you're, if you're really big and robust, uh, you know, then you'll have to get, move up a size you traditionally get. Um, but this will fit most slim or athletic builds or even uh, uh, stockier builds. This will fit very nicely. Um, it's not going to be all. It's not going to be too baggy or, or or too tight. But it's it's got a nice body hugging um, 
a, a cut and with the appropriate arm length. But you will find this, and once you once you get this gi, you'll find that it fits right out of the bag very well, and you don't really have to compensate too much for the length on the arms. It's good to have it a little bit longer, and again, depending on how you wash it, it will vary. Um, so you can almost buy it to fit. You can buy it a little bit longer like this, and it's fine. You'll, you'll, you'll be good. But that's the uh, Fuji Setsugi, the Tokai or Nippon. It's all the same model, uh, uniform, but it has different embroidery. So that's the only difference. Blue, available blue and in white. So that's, that's the Fuji lineup for Judo Gi. Now, as we move on to a higher quality uniform, we move to Mizuno. Mizuno is known as the world's best uh, uh, gi, and I say that uh, mostly because most world champions are wearing the Mizuno, Mizuno gi. Um, most world and Olympic champions will be choosing, not, you know, some have sponsorships and that's, that's what the team wears, but you'll find that given a choice, most international athletes are choosing the Mizuno gi. Why is that? Well, some of it, it's, it looks great, it wears beautifully, but also the performance. It's, it's, it fits really well. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna invest in the Mizuno gi and be disappointed, that's for sure. So we have two different models. Okay, the basic uh, Yusho, Yusho gi has the IGF approved. So this is approved by uh, Interna International Judo Federation. If you're a club member, you don't need this. If you're just working out at the club, if you're not competing, you don't need this. If you're competing provincially or nationally, or in the, uh, you, don't, you don't need this. If you bump up and start fighting in international tournaments, if you make the national team and they send you around the world, you want to show up the tournament with this, just in case they're, they're, they're checking, no matter what age. Okay, if you're 14 and going on an international tournament, just to be sure, you should get one with the International Judo Federation um, logo approved gi. So with this gi, what's happened is the IJAF will certify that the cut is appropriate. The cut meaning um, the weight of the, 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 the cut of the uniform will fit most people, but most importantly, so they'll take measurements of the color thickness and the color width and the crossover between at the chest, it has to be certain dimensions. These have been approved. Now again, is the crossover of the uniform is important for you to pick the right size. Um, but with these, you'll have minimal shrinkage, almost none. And that's another thing with, again, reinforce that, that, that a higher quality uniform, you're getting the best cotton. So in the Fuji and in the Mizuno, the best cotton makes the difference. If you, you can, we can make these uniforms probably for half the price, what, you're, what, what they cost, but you're ending up with a poor cotton. And the poor cotton is gonna shrink a lot, it's not gonna last, you'll see tears, you'll see inconsistencies in the weave. That's things to look for in a, in a poor quality uniform. Um, but if you invest a little more money in a mise en gi, you're getting the world's best, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a confidence builder going into competition knowing you're wearing the world's best product. You know, you wanna do anything, if you wanna improve uh, performance by 5%, walk in wearing good gear. Forget about how, you know, how much you've trained, but, but even having the confidence, knowing you're going to, going to battle with a good uniform, you're gonna increase your performance. It it's, might be psychosomatic, Maybe, but who cares? It, it's, it's, a, it's proven. So, the, this is the, the Yusho, um, beautiful uniform, won't shrink a lot. It's weighted, some people would say that it's weighted too light, um, but that is the IGF regulations these days. You know, some people who haven't bought a uniform in a while say, I want a heavier one. Well, heavier ones don't really exist that much, especially with the IGF approved logo. That's, it's, it's made to a particular weight um, to address that issue, that people were, were making geese that were too heavy. Not that long ago, probably 10 years ago, um, some of the suppliers were trying to sell me a uniform that could actually stand up on its own. It was so rigid and so tough, and the weight of the geese was so heavy that it could stand up on its own. So IJF has put a stop to that. Um, and they've made them a little bit lighter. It's actually improved the judo. 
So there's that one. And then we have the creme de la creme. This is the, uh, the Yusho Japan um, uniform. What you get with this uniform is it's made in the original Mizuno factory um, in Japan using the highest quality cotton available, um, Japan made cotton. So you've got the finest material made at the finest factory, the factory that's been making it for many, many years. So what you have here is uh, a beautiful uniform with the best material possible. And again, some people might say it's light, but that is the way, that's the way um, that IGF wants it. Um, and that's the way, you know, to keep judo um, away from, hey, he's got a tougher gi and I can't grab him. That's not improving your judo, you know? That's not determining the, 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 the best, this best competitor, you know? Being able to grab your opponent is important. You can't have good judo without doing that. So if you look at this, um, the refinement of the uniform is beautiful. I mean, this, this is beautifully woven. It's very exact. There's no loose threads or there's no inconsistencies. It fits great. Um, it's really the top of the line in many regards. So the cotton and the construction, this is a gi that you will have forever um, and you'll never throw it out. It'll be a hand-me-down. Sounds ridiculous. I mean, who's ever bought a pair of jeans that you could actually hand down to somebody else? Ne it doesn't happen. Or, or a pair of jeans that you can wear forever. This, you could go to practice five days a week um, for 20 years and still be wearing this uniform. It's, it's that good. So that's the lineup for Judo Gies. I hope you learned something from this. Um, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Uh, email us. We're here to help. Um, and good luck in your Judo career. Thanks very much.